guys, we're Tim and Sandy and of course Pablo and we love travelling around in our 2004 Mercedes Sprinter. For the next few weeks we are taking on the East Coast and Central Tasmania. This episode we are realising that Tassie is just view after view and we end up getting the most beautiful park ups just everywhere. Welcome to our channel, The Sandman. Everyone. So we've just stopped at our first spot in Tassie and we're at a place called Hagley's. So today we went from the Spirit of Tasmania and we went to La Trobe to see some friends. And then we've headed here and it's such a beautiful spot. Not only do we have a massive field with other campers as well, there's heaps of room for everybody, but check out this. Check out this shed they have on the property. We have a fireplace, heaps of places to chill out. There is tourist information, maps of Tassie. No fire. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> fire. Beautiful fire. And at the back here we have heaps of DVDs and books. You can either swap or he said just take them away. He doesn't, he doesn't care, that's what they're there for, for travellers. We have games, spare dog beds if you're in need of that sort of thing. And a massive TV if you want to chill out in here and watch a movie or a game or whatever you need to do. So definitely five stars from me and uh, a beautiful first day in Tassie. And oh yeah, it's only a $10 donation at the front as you drive in. Self check-in. Definitely recommended, free water, and yeah. So um, tonight we, uh, we're just gonna have a bit of dinner. Tim is cooking some dinner and we're gonna go chill out back in the shed I just showed you because that is awesome for first night. We were so tired, so this is just a relaxing kind of day. But, uh, oh, look at this sunset behind me, my gosh. That is nice. But tomorrow we will hopefully take you on a little adventure. So we settled down for this evening. We've got a roaring fire, we've got a DVD on and we're hanging out in this big old shed. We've got rain on the tin roof, it's amazing. <laughs> it's a pretty good setup. Yeah, it's really, really cozy. But anyway, we will see you tomorrow. Yeah, another wonderful night's sleep. Beautiful morning that we've woken up to. You see the view of the mountains in the background. Um, just gonna fill up with water. And then we are going to a lavender farm. See you there. Wow, the lavender's so pretty at the lavender farm. It's just gorgeous. Well, it's in season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lavender has just been harvested, so it has gone, but it's still a very scenic view with the mountains in the background. But yeah, there's no lavender here today. The usual time to see the lavender in full bloom is from December through to early February, though this can vary slightly every year depending on the conditions of the season. All year round is a peaceful atmosphere set against the striking backdrop of Mount Arthur. They had beautiful lavender gifts in their shop and had a cafe on site if that takes your fancy. Bit of a shame actually because um, my family and I have been a couple of times to the Contumba lavender farm back in Queensland and it's lovely up there so I was kind of expecting the same but I didn't think about the weather change. <laughs> Seasonal change. Seasonal, yeah. sheep think we're going to feed them, I think, but we'll just stop for a second. <laughs> Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down, close
We just stopped at Bridport and it's such a nice little small little beachside town. It's got this um we saw at the camp or the actual campground but we managed to have this for the view for lunch. Yes, it is. That's uh, probably where we're going to be camping over there. It's over there. Yeah. Looks good. Looks like it's on fire as well. <laughs> At least it's free. <laughs> yeah, it's free. So we have made it to our park up and I'll just show you our view we've got tonight or this evening or this afternoon I should say. There's where we've parked and Tim's just taking off the scooter and this is our view. Pretty nice if you ask me. beautiful spot here I think we're going to chill out here for the afternoon um, Tim has still has to fix our wipers because it's 100% chance of rain tomorrow so we need to fix our window wipers <laughs> so we're just doing that and uh, I think we're gonna have a cup of tea and enjoy the view tonight this afternoon and uh, catch you tomorrow one sweet and caring now cold and calculated you can't be trusted out with the gravel Even roads, honey. Terrible. <laughs> Challenging. And in the rain as well. It's not too bad until you hit corrugations and then it gets really, really bumpy and very, very loud in here and feels like everything's falling apart. So, and this is our life at the moment. We're doing lots and lots of gravel roads. But at the end of these gravel roads, you get some great campsites. So it's well worth it in the end if you don't mind putting your band back together when you get there. We can handle the dirt roads and the potholes. We can maneuver pretty well, but my God, it gets it dirty. <laughs> Check this out. Look at the state of my willy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of the... <laughs> Poor willy. I think we might have to uh, put the cover on her or him because he looks like a dirt bike. Without the dirt. 
Yeah. Well, there's heaps of dirt. It's filthy. <laughs> it's filthy. Off the car wash, I reckon. Yep, car wash now. We found this car wash. It's actually quite cool. It's uh, actually for boats, but it's it's really good. It's got a little um, staircase here to, to watch the roof. And if you see over here, these this white cubicle that is showers. You can have as well for the same price. Two dollars. <laughs> on our back way to Bay of Fires and we just stopped at St Helens for a quick look around, see what they got here. St Helens is the largest town on this stretch of coast and a great place for outdoor adventures of all kinds. The area is known for deep sea fish and southern rock lobster. So there's tons of excellent seafood to try at local restaurants and eateries. Not that we did though, we just stopped off for some chips. <laughs> this is the Bay of Fires. We've arrived. <laughs> yeah, sand is super white, yeah, and the ocean is super turquoise, as promised. Not sure how much of this you can hear, but hopefully a lot. <laughs> the Bay of Fires is known all over the world for its extraordinary clear blue seas, white sandy beaches and the orange boulders of course. It is one of the most idyllic holiday destinations available. Now we're just going to find a park up for the night. Because that was just a day use only area. So it's going to be tough because the last place we checked was quite busy. So we're second place is going to be, is it Cozy something north? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try somewhere else. And then Cozy South. And then Cozy South. <laughs> this is cool. And it's got toilets. Oh, look at that. It's a cute area. From the window. It's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Good job, honey. <laughs> we can see the sea, and it's not like the real estate one where you're standing on a stool. You can actually. You see can it actually window. see. <laughs> I can open the window and listen to the waves. Let's do a level check. Ooh. Levels. Ooh. Oh, it's way off. We're going to need to put something under the other wheel, and way off that side as well. Oh, okay. Uh, the front's not too bad. Just side to side. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around. That's pretty nice. I'm I'm really happy with that. Scenery? I'm just gonna take you for a little walk up and show the view we have. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up. Wake up. Lovely, eh? Hey. We have service? Three bars, four D. We have service folks, we haven't had service for the last two days, <laughs> so it's good, it's a good place. So we'll sign off for this week and you can see behind me the beautiful Bay of Fires. Uh, we're going to spend maybe a day or two here and explore. But please subscribe and we post every Saturday at 7 a.m. We'll see you next week. And always leave a comment, make it a nice one. <laughs> see you Bye. <laughs>